What up YouTube? Will survives back with another one. Hey. Hey. What is going on guys? I guess right now is yesterday. Filming this right now, gonna upload tomorrow. I haven't done anything, it's already four o'clock. I haven't done nothing since uh I got this window framed in. I uh after the window was framed in, I went and cooked up some food. Had a call with my dad and called this uh there's this agency guys. Um they reached out to me. Uh, they specialize in helping content creators get uh, sponsorship deals. It's not something that I was into really, but this agency specialize with outdoor and van life creators. And I was planning on getting sent free stuff from companies already. I was planning on trying to get a uh, like battery company to send me stuff. This company is going to help me do that and make these companies pay me. We'll see how it goes. I'm only doing companies that, that I genuinely like and need their product. I'm not going to be posting sponsorship videos in every single YouTube video just to get the bread. It's mainly so that I could just get the stuff and um and then uh they'll throw a little bread on top the agency's only taking 10 percent of the cut so it's all it's all gravy after that call i edited the last youtube video and uploaded that and that all took uh that took some time guys it's now four took about three or four hour break so i'm about to get back to it i want to finish this triangle right now uh good again thank you guys for all the support you guys are amazing loving the content and liking and uh commenting i just appreciate you guys so much I'm, I'm gonna say that every video dude you guys you guys rock there are people worried about the osb board as the floor they're saying i should put like a layer of plastic underneath first listen to this guys there is two layers of plastic underneath the plastic going down the wall the floor and then up the other wall and then another one going from the back wall and over the floor so it's doubled up i am going to get some type of uh coat over that to make it more waterproof uh yeah let's go bunch of people telling me to have the door open inwards so that i don't get stuck in the cabin which is actually kind of smart but um i i did make it go outwards so that it is way harder to push in no animal is going to be able to break in the door and i am planning on doing an overhang over the porch so hopefully snow doesn't pile up there also i don't think i'll ever get six feet of snow in one day so if i just stay on top of shoveling every day then i shouldn't have any issues getting out of the door if i ever do have issues getting out of the door uh i built it so i could take it down one simple eye poke will knock the door out. Maybe this is just on Instagram. I don't know. Guys, I get some of the Instagram and the TikTok and the YouTube comments mixed up. And you guys all comment different stuff. So if I'm tripping, let me know. But a bunch of people were saying, do a uh, something on the roof to get out. I think that that would be way too difficult to, uh, to engineer uh, and to make it strong as it is right now. Also, I feel like... If there's six feet of snow, then there's also going to be snow on the roof. But I think, I think I'm good, guys. I think I'm good. It's just going to take constant shoveling of snow. At this point right now, I uh, haven't had the chance to look through the YouTube comments on how I should install the wood stove in the pipe. But that might actually be in this video if I take a little break and check that out, come back. But I think that's all I really got for the intro, guys. I'm back to start doing the triangle. So I have to find some logs about this size to fill this triangle. Uh, that should only actually take one log, less than a log. So let's let's find uh, let's find the good stuff. Maybe this? Nope, too small. What up, hoop? <laughs> let's go. I have these, but uh, looking a little big. Too many knots in this one and it's not straight what's this oh it's split in half hmm hmm yeah no bottom of that one bottom of this one would work good um, hmm 
This one's almost good. It's just a little too big. So I might have to go cut down a tree. Look at how cool it's looking though, guys, with that door and window. It actually looks kind of cool. And once I clean up everything and cover this front part, it's gonna be looking so sick. Do a bunch of fruit trees surrounding, little fence. Oh my gosh. I think I might actually just use this and stack it upwards because this is pretty thick right here. This, um, it's a real two by four, not that fake stuff. So, and I got it, I might as well use it. It's a little warped, so I won't be able to use the whole thing for something. I might as well cut it up. And this would only take a few logs. It's not as natural, but I mean, door's not natural, window framing's not natural. I think it actually looked kind of cool with some little two by fours in that top corner. Just uh, random stuff, you know what I'm saying? Hooper, if you chew through that, we're not gonna have anywhere to store firewood, buddy. Okay, dude, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like that this side's different than this side. Door's different than window. Oh, shucks. And, uh, <laughs> dude, tell me that doesn't look sweet. Come on now, come on now. I, uh, I realized, because there are tiny gaps here. Let me show you from the inside. little gaps right I realized it would have been smart I have another can of spray foam it would have been smart to just do a layer and then set the next piece of wood uh, I did not think about that but for next time but I have this tiny gap at the top I don't want to fill with a piece of wood and I got some more cracks to fill so I'm just gonna break open that last can of spray foam I got and finish that up Okay, so it's not pretty at all from the inside uh, with all that spray foam, but it had to be done and I don't really care. So, <laughs> let's go, dude. It's, oh, oh my gosh. I just realized that I built it. I built a cabin. I just built a cabin. Holy moly, huh. holy moly. It's time to move in, oh baby. It's time to move in. Guys, it's a cabin in the woods. And I did it in 32 days. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, damn, that's kind of crazy actually. I should probably go get a bunch of firewood now. <laughs> I might just uh, rest for the rest of the day because I think the next thing is getting that stove in and I'm going to wait for your guys' advice on that. And, uh, wow, okay. Uh, uh, not long enough for one uh, YouTube video, but uh, I'll wake up tomorrow and film whatever I do. And, uh, Holy moly. See you guys then. 
hey guys I got some ideas uh, or I had a revelation my next project that I'm gonna do simultaneously while collecting a whole ton of firewood is the overhang over the porch and I had the idea it was gonna be dig a huge hole here huge post same with over there uh, but now I'm realizing these roots are probably going to get in the way of that post and same over here. And right about now I'm wishing I didn't cut that tree down because I would have cut it right there and had to be one of the beams. I wanted to do big overhang, uh, leaving room to shoot hoops, but from like here to here and then and it just all slopes down over the porch. But yeah, I don't know how to do those posts now. Do you guys have any porch ideas? I could, I'd have to buy some big, I don't even know if I could get, no, I could. Oh, give me a sec, guys. Hey guys, I have a plan, but I can't talk you through it right now. Not gonna lie. So I'll catch y'all in the morning. Good morning, guys. Holy moly. Um, Man, I, I kind of appreciate uh, how much you guys worry about Hooper, but you guys got to understand Will survives means not only Will survives, Will and all his people thrive. I uh, read your guys' comments too late about running the stove pipe through this triangle. I already did that, uh, but I don't think that's a smart idea. I want it in the back so that um, I can build up a rock wall behind it and it will reflect some of that heat. And uh, I don't, I don't want any uh, bends in my stovepipe because it's a real skinny stovepipe. It's just meant for a tent, and any bends in it will make it quite a bit harder for airflow to get in. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing it through the back, but it's kind of a cool idea. Sorry, guys, I am noticing myself talking a little bit. Uh, hostile towards you guys it's just because i'm a little upset honestly that you guys don't think i uh am taking good care of hoop but that's all uh, and i'm i'm sorry i'm gonna try to hold back a little bit i appreciate you guys so much you guys know that <laughs> good boy who also guys don't worry about him socializing with other dogs uh got his first round of vaccinations and uh lucky thrives and sierra his wife they have six or seven dogs or something like that and one of them is a great pyrenees beluga same dog as little homie and uh, they're gonna be bringing beluga up and socializing hooper and beluga is gonna help teach hooper the ropes and uh i give him a ton of affection guys he sleeps in my bed every night and uh he's probably the happiest little puppy i've ever seen i'm not gonna lie all right uh you guys don't gotta worry about the nails none of these nails can get hooper i know you guys are worried about snow blocking me in because my door opens out but do you see how open, uh, easy that opens out uh that would be a bear touching his nose on the door and it would open in and he would eat me and hooper so it opens out. I'm building a uh, overhang so that uh, snow can't pile up. Guys, okay, this is my plan. I got them. Um, they're all like different sizes, different lengths, different widths, different thickness, all that. But I got enough uh, scrap lumber to, whew, I think, just run a couple more beams off the front. And then onto posts that I'll just put right here on the porch. Maybe I'll have it overhang. I'll try to get it to overhang the porch because that would be sick. But if not, that's okay. I really just need to protect this little area. And then after that, uh, I will get to making a little little overhang here just so I have a little, little pathway. Maybe on the other side a little bit as well. And they got pallets at the... Mora Valley Ranch Supply for less than two bucks. So I'm gonna pick up a bunch of those pallets and use those for the overhang, the awning. Is that what it's called, awning? I've actually decided I want, I don't want to just 
run these off of here because man I want it all to just slope down off this hill so I'm actually thinking about putting a post in right here same height as the top of the roof Ooh, but I'd have to do the metal roof first <laughs> oh baby okay let me think let me think also real quick I know there's people worried about um, or that might have been Instagram I don't actually know who was worried about that you guys might already know but but yeah this is raised off the floor and there's two layers of plastic on the ground underneath so moisture isn't coming up through the floor but I am going to try to get some type of coat to put over that I also uh, I feel like yeah I got to got to do something about this I feel like this will fall apart for real so maybe coat this up, maybe nail a couple boards to the back or something. I don't know. I'm going to do something about that. But having this over overhang will help. I am planning on having no moisture touch it. That's the plan. So. The question I do have, if I am running a little wood stove and it's going out the roof, does there need to be other ventilation? Because I have sealed up most of the cracks. There is obviously some, some cracks left, but... Um, is mostly sealed up. I will get a carbon monoxide detector uh, just to be safe. I'm running a propane heater. Does that create the same issue or is it okay unless something goes wrong? Like, can I have a propane heater in here and a carbon monoxide detector and it would be fine? Or can I not run one of those in a confined space? I'm also thinking no music studio in here. I was gonna put it right here, but I think it would just take up a little too much space. And I think I should just repurpose the bus into a music studio. I wanna be able to keep like a week's worth of firewood in here, drying at all times. I wanna get my tools in here. And uh, I just don't think there will be enough space for the stew. But I'm thinking, so bed here, wood stove here. I'll probably stack firewood right here. And then I'll have a little space here. Maybe should I hang tools on that back wall? That would be cool. Oh, I could store tools under the cot actually as well. Was thinking of maybe running a two by four from here along the ceiling kind of all the way to the other end. I could hang tools off of that right here. Um, I don't know guys. You guys should let me know uh, what you guys think about that one. I'm super excited to get this interior done, dude. It's gonna be so sick in here. So fun. Oh man, I know what I should do right now, but I don't wanna do it. What up, bud? At the top of this hill, there's a creek bed. No need to worry. Running down this way. And it is full of like the best little, uh, I think it's this uh, sheet rock just broken up a bunch so it's like a nice fine gravel and I'm thinking about taking a tote up there taking this tote because um, taking this tote to the top and then just dragging it down so that I can fill these sides with it I think it's a really nice material to fill in those uh, side gaps Oh man, yeah, I'm gonna do it, bro. I'm gonna do it. Hey, right, here we are at the top. This creek bed goes down the whole ridge line. Ooh, that was a hike. Cabin's down there. About to fill this tote, drag it down. All right, it's gonna be a pain in the ass dragging this down the hill, but I gotta make it happen. Guys, also, I have so much of this. Uh, if you guys can think of anything else I could do with it, maybe cover the porch. Maybe make a walkway with it. Good boy, Hooper. I can't believe you made it up the hill. You did it, buddy. He's gonna be the strongest dog, healthiest dog you guys have ever seen. Smartest dog, too. He's so smart, actually. Good boy, Hooper. Good boy, Hooper. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah, Hoop Dog. Hoop Dog. All right, I'm not one of those guys that sets up the camera and then moves it and then moves the camera. 
drag it past again i'm not i'm not that type of dude I'm, so i'll see you guys at the bottom of the hill that had to be one of the worst things i've ever done in my life that reminded me of football training holy shit okay here's a question that uh, you dog people might not get mad at uh i should probably clip his toenails i just um i suggested it to one of my peeps and uh i don't know if he was joking or not but keeping his nails long would uh give him some fighting tools for coyotes and whatnot when he's bigger but i mean i'm thinking i should probably cut start cutting those toenails but they don't seem to be bothering them yet so i haven't haven't taken action but please only if you are a great pyrenees owner and that great pyrenees lives in the wilderness and um guards things let me know if you own a chihuahua and torture it all day leaving it in your house then please don't let me know thanks guys yeah buddy yeah buddy also guys just so you know when i ask questions like this i have other sources like real people in my life that i ask these same questions that i trust and I also am capable of looking it up on Google. I just like asking these questions to keep you guys more involved. And so I hope you guys can appreciate that and keep that in mind when giving me advice in uh, certain tones. So yeah, thank you guys. Okay, I actually wrecked my lower back moving that down the hill, so I am uh, so I'm praying this fills up all those cracks. It better, bro. Wouldn't it be sick if I took took this thing? Wait for it. And at the top there, here, wait. Right here where Hooper's chilling, I make an elevated platform for him, build a little roof, and then he has a spot to hang out up there. Keep lookout. I think that would be sweet. I could put a little dog bed on it. That would be so cool, actually. What do you guys think? Hooper. Hooper, Hooper, good boy, good boy. I also got to get a little uh, elevated platform right here so he can look out the window. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. Good boy, good boy. All right, that didn't uh, complete the job, but that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna count it. Uh, I like the way it looks, and I think it's functional. Haha, <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! Okay, I need a space to keep all my tools so I can start working on this porch overhang. I think I am going to make some type of uh, shelving system real quick. Haha, <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Okay, I do, want, I do want to do it really natural, but I gotta use that scrap lumber I got, you know? It's, it's almost gone and um, I do want to make use of it, so. I am gonna use a hand dogger. I'm gonna strip this log, drill some holes with the hand dogger and then lay a nice two by four on top. I'll be able to set stuff on top of there. And then I'm also gonna put some nails in it in the front side so I can hang tools off the front as well. Before just now, every time that I had to go to the bus and back um, and Hooper's too tired to go, cause sometimes he follows me a bunch, like 80% of the time, but like 20% of the time he's, he's too tired and he doesn't really care. He just tells me to shut up. Uh, but now I got that floor all cleaned up and closed up. 
and I can just leave Hooper in the cabin with his with his water and a little toy while I go to the bus and back. And he uh, he does actually seem happy when I come back. Uh, so that's cool. That's very cool. I used to just carry him and then carry him back with whatever else I'm carrying. But now we balling. In here, I'm mainly just gonna keep smaller tools and tools that I use often. And then I will build another shed somewhere, maybe right there, um, where I'll keep a bunch of gasoline, propane, water, and bigger tools that I maybe don't use as often. You know, uh, bar and chain oil. I got a bunch of stuff that I'll need to put in a shed, so keeping some of the smaller tools in here that I'll use a bunch. The hand auger, I'm gonna make like four holes. This is not a fun process, and it would be easier if I just put a bunch of nails to hold up the two by four, but I, uh, it feels like I'm cheating doing that, so I'm gonna drill some holes. Just throw a stick in there and then start turning. Okay, actually, it's a uh, super dull. That's an old hand auger. And this will actually take me a few hours to do. And I have decided to just take the lazy way out and do nails. It'll probably be stronger too, so. I was just kind of doing the hand auger for fun. Let's get some nails in there, bro. Okay, so, man, I keep switching up the plan. This wood is real hard and tough to drill a hole in. Also, because I'm going at it sideways, way easier when you have down pressure to drill these holes. So I'm about to cut this to length, get holes in it, nail this to right here, and then put the pegs in those holes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom diggity. Now I just gotta get some pegs. Boom, boom, boom. And then put that other one up there. And it's money. You guys didn't see that. I just gotta cut this one to length and throw it up there. Freaking cool. Now I got a place to uh, keep my tools. I can hang stuff up. Nail, wood, nail, wood, nail, wood, nail. Put it right here. Let's, uh, let's go. All right, guys, what do you think of that? Got uh, the majority of my tools up there. I maybe need to find a spot to put the axe. And I actually want a little spot to put the pew pew. Now nah, maybe that can go over my bed or something. Axe and shovel, kind of big items. Um, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna, yeah, I'll just stack them behind actually, yeah, money. 
it's about time to install that stove, baby. Uh, for the wood stove, I want to stack a couple rocks here, get it elevated a little bit, just so Hooper isn't running into it while he's little. He'll learn to avoid it as he gets older, but I want to stack some rocks, stack rocks behind. So before I can do that, before I can do really anything else in here, I have to cover this floor with something better. What else did I need? I also need to pick up some water. I'm out of water. And man, there was one more thing I was thinking of, but uh, so I'm about to head into town, get some type of thingamajiggy for the floor and some water and whatever else. And then I'll be back to install the stove, I think, bro. That's crazy. After this, whatever I put on here dries and then the bed. Uh, wow, it's coming together. Gotta clear out the van first before I go get a bunch of pallets. Guys, I got all the pallets I could fit. Uh, There's only six, but uh, they're just a dollar. Pretty pent. I got oh, two cans of this stuff for the floor. And they didn't have sealant tape for uh, in between the corrugated metal sheets, but I'm just gonna spray some of this flex seal and on there so yeah ballin well <laughs> my uh, door just fell off okie dokie uh, filled up two five gallon water so that'll last me a good amount of time one o'clock Hooper seems sleepy so I'm gonna let him sleep and I'm gonna cook up some lunch. And please do not worry, I leave the van running with the AC on every time Hooper's in here alone, so. Cooking up some of that elk. Shout out Chris, Toasty Chris on TikTok and Instagram. I really should be cooking this over an open fire, but I don't know why I'm not actually. All right, I brought the van up here, unloaded the pallets, and I'm about to do the floor. What up, Hoop? Okay, uh, sweep the floor and got the stuff off the ground. Now I'm about to do it. Well, there is no doubt in my mind that that was uh, extremely detrimental to my health. Uh, man, it's said to wear gloves and uh, eye protection, but they didn't say nothing about a mask, but I feel like I need a mask because I was breathing that in the whole time for sure. Uh, I was going to do a coat and then go back over, but I'm not trying to die. So I had uh, enough left over to do the door also. Uh, I think that's gonna be real money. Uh, I'm just gonna let this dry overnight and then uh, get back to it. Guys, what is that? Dogs? That looks like a cat tail. Something crazy's happening out there. Okay, I put Hooper in the van. I got my spear. I'm going up there. Dude, is that a cat or a dog? Or is that a cat eating dogs? Is a mountain lion eating a dog right now? What the fuck is it? Hey! <laughs> okay, that's just some dogs. Damn, those guys are probably eating my balls. I'm gonna talk to some of the neighbors, see if, uh, see if that's one of their dogs. I don't know why I wanted it to be a mountain lion. I was ready, dude, I was ready. <laughs> this is what I live for. This is what I live for. All right, it's the next morning. Uh, I just edited that video you guys just watched. Uh, and uh, that floor is probably dry. Uh, I was going to install the wood stove right now, but but Lucky Thrive said he found a 
something that would uh, help me out with installing that wood stove. So I'll, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer on that. Uh, I don't actually know what I'm gonna do today, but uh, it's gonna be cool and I'm gonna film it and it's gonna be in the next video. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned, being so positive and uh, help me out and following along on the journey. Thank you guys for subscribing and liking and commenting. Very much pimping. And there's only one last thing to do. A skadoosh. I have a ball of good energy in my hand. And uh, this energy ball gives you uh, uh, good energy. Whoa-bam! Got him. I got you. I unexpectedly. I uh, caught you by surprise. And I know you felt that. I know you felt that. Uh, man. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm going to keep grinding. Keep putting in work. And I'll see you guys uh, next video. Actually, I'll see you guys later if you're trying to tune into the live. I'm going to go live and cook dinner around... 6 30 so uh baby see you guys there if not i'll see you guys uh tomorrow willie and hoop out hey hey i made the glizzy flit right the string around the hood wait for a tug and reel it in hey i really didn't looking out for bears to willie eat the same food as him I should probably buy a wood stove, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.